let's solve this system of equations and notice it's a three by three equation meaning three equations we'll call this a b c with three unknowns x y and z there's several ways you can do this the easiest way if you know them is matrices but a lot of times teachers want you to do this without matrices and that's what we're going to do so one of the methods of doing it and one of the simplest ways besides a matrix is to combine these together to eliminate a variable. So we're, we see right here that the y's, see how the y's are, would be easy to eliminate because this one is negative and the other ones are positive. So I'm going to take A and B here and then I'm going to take B and C here and I'm going to combine them together and that'll give me two equations with just x and z in it and then I have a two by two equation and I can solve it by elimination or substitution. Okay, so let's do that. Here's a, x plus y plus z equals negative four. Here's b, x minus y plus four z equals negative seventeen. Notice when I add them straight down, the y's are going to be eliminated. I get two x plus five z equals negative twenty one. To check if I did that right. Yep. And then B and C, if I put those together, um, 5x plus y plus z equals 4. Again, if I sometimes I have to multiply one or the other by a, a, by a constant, but in this case I don't have to. That's why I chose to eliminate the y. So I get 6x plus what is that, 5z, 5z equals negative 13, right? Yeah. So if I get those two, equa two equations now, I can take those two equations, I'm going to erase this, and I can put them together in a system of equations, and now I can solve for x and z. So I'm going to write those together, 2x plus 5z equals negative 21, 6x plus 5z equals negative 13. Be smart about what the, uh, variable to eliminate, what variable is easier to eliminate. The z, and I do that by multiplying one of them by negative 1. So I get negative, negative, positive. Now add them straight down, I get negative 4x. The z's go away, equals negative 8 which means x equals positive 2. And if x equals 2, plug that back into any of these. Let's just plug it into here since it's closer. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 5z equals negative 13. Subtract 12 from both sides. That means negative 25 equals 5z. Divide by 5z equals negative 5. Now that I got x and z, I can plug them in up here to any one of those doesn't matter which one. Let's plug it into the first one since that's pretty easy. And solve for y. So 2 minus 5 is negative 3 plus y equals negative 4. Add 3 to both sides is negative 1. And now to check to make sure you did it right, plug in, let's just take this more difficult one, 5 times 2 plus negative 1 plus negative 5. Notice I just plugged in x, y, and z mm -hmm. for those things, and that better equal 4. Let's see if it does. 10 minus 6 equals 4. Yeah, so that works. So my solution is 2 comma negative 1 comma negative 5. That's how you do that problem.